What made that play work wasn't just the perfect throw and catch, but also the outstanding protection. The protection is improving each week, led by a 21-year-old who learns both when he succeeds and when he fails. First round pick J.C. Latham is wise beyond his years and is incredibly talented to boot. As Amy Wells learns in this week's Nissan Insider, Latham never stops working to learn as he never stops learning at work. So J.C. Latham, you come in here as a rookie and pretty immediately you know that you are going to be a starter. You're going to be having a major role in the Titans offense. Were you surprised by how quickly you were given so much responsibility? Uh, yes and no. Um, the part of me that was surprised was, you know, more so coming from high caliber programs like Alabama, IMG, and uh, Catholic Memorial the School before IMG, you know, you walk in and you have to earn your right. You know, and I'm not saying it wasn't earned um, here, but the other part of me that wasn't surprised was because, you know, it's an investment, you know. I mean, guys want guys to come in and be ready. You know, obviously there's a developmental stage that goes into it. You know, when you're here, you got to get adjusted to the speed and learn the new style of play and the playbook and all that. But I mean, you know, they, they drafted you for a reason. They didn't draft you to sit, sit the bench. So the other part of me was kind of expecting, you know, to kind of play early, so. Has there been a moment where you felt maybe overwhelmed or like things were going too fast and it, you needed to kind of catch up really quick? Yeah, um, probably. I mean, you get like bits and pieces. It really depends. So I remember when I first got here, you know, we installed like just a couple plays and I was like, okay, if we go at this pace, I'll be good. And then one day we installed like 10 plays. So let me put everything down and just lock in on these plays, you know, and that, that's when it was like, okay, this is a lot right now. So I got to kind of really um, get into my playbook and, you know, really stay atop of, on top of it, you know, and then sometimes they back off on the install a little bit. So give me, give everybody more time to study what was already installed. But um, it just depends on what it is. I remember one day, I think we installed like 17 plays. So yeah, that was a day where I was like, all right, I got to kind of block out everything else and stay locked in right here. So how did you learn how to really just lock in on what you need to do, whether that's on the field, whether that's in the weight room, whether that's getting in your playbook later at night. That has to be a skill that you learned, right? Yeah, obviously being in Alabama, you know, you're around a lot of great players. I mean, I reached out to guys like uh, Will Anderson, Jameer Gibbs, you know, Bryce Young, guys who are high caliber players and um, doing great in their rookie year. You know, reached out to them about how to handle it and how do I, you know, kind of exceed expectations and, you know, make my mark um, with my team in my own rights. And then being here, seeing guys like, you know, Peter Skowinski, um, Lloyd Cushenberry, you know, guys like that kind of set the tone as far as what you should be doing on and off the field. You know, that's kind of, I want to kind of match that intensity and that standard, so. I mean, going all the way back to high school, you went to IMG Academy, yeah. you're by yourself in a completely different state from yeah. the rest of your family. I guess you kind of learn what works best for you in that environment? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, IMG, I was telling you know somebody, um, it's it's a sacrifice because I'm, I was in Wisconsin before that. You know, it, it, you're away from your family, you're away from the people you grew up around. You're in a whole different school environment, new team, you know, and then it kind of becomes a, a little bit surreal that like, hey, like you're going here to get ready for college. So um, it kind of helps you mature in that aspects to kind of like let you know that hey, this is what college is going to be like to an extent you know it'll obviously be a lot harder because you'll be grown and you'll really be on your own but like this is the best way to prepare for it so it was definitely a great opportunity so we've got to talk about all the extra work that you do because we see you out at practice we see you doing everything that you're asked to do and then we see you on the field later going through what looks like a completely separate practice yeah. you're working hard all by yourself usually Where did that start where even after a day of practice, you continue to do extra practice? One of my like biggest role models as an athlete is Kobe Bryant. And um, I remember just hearing his story about where he came from and how he see guys who, you know, are, are really good in the NBA, but he said, you know, they work out once a day and I work out twice a day, I'll get better twice as fast than them, you know? And then he just took that from two to three to four. You know, I was, I think I was 15 at the time when I first heard about that. So I kind of just took it and ran with it. So um, when I first played O-line at that age, I was like, all right, well, you know, these guys are so, so far ahead of me right now and I got to essentially catch up to them. I've only been playing O-line for a couple months and they've been playing their whole life. You know, I got to work out 
like twice a day. So I got to get my work in after practice. I got to get some more work in later on in the day, you know. And then I saw the um, the progress that I've made, and I saw, you know, just how quick I've grown into the um, positions and really fast. So I knew like, okay, the work's paying off. You know, you see that the amount of work that you put in is, is helping you get to that next level. And so, I mean, just believing in that, that's kind of what laid the foundation, no matter what level you're in. If you put in the hard work here, you'll be all right. When Titans All Access continues, a beneath the surface that will melt your heart.